God is a good Father. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget all of His benefits. He has a lot of benefits. When you seek Him, you will find. I mean, it amazes me. The Word is alive and active and living like a double-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12 are so conformed to this worldly filth that they don't hear the truth, they don't see the truth, and when you speak the truth, they don't hear you. I've had several occasions where, I mean, I speak, people don't listen. I speak, people don't hear. I repeat myself, and it's like I'm talking to myself. People don't hear these days anymore. They don't hear anything. They don't hear you speak. They don't hear you. It's, I can't explain it, but it's like I'm talking to myself. I have a person right next to me, and they just don't hear what I'm saying. They don't hear anything. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. As uh, Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. This morning uh, was really weird. Something's coming. I always feel it in the spirit when something is coming. Always. Warfare is on 24 7. You need to have all the armor of God. More evil things are coming. Evilness is growing faster and faster all the time. And the greed and the love of the money is growing. People are just like, people are puppets that are being used and abused. And if you're not a true believer, the battle. You need to discern. You need to fix your eyes on Jesus only. You need to stand in truth no matter what. People are so blind. They are so blind. It's time to wake up time is near. Look around you, what's happening in the world. Evil is worshipped. Evil is laughing at your face. Blasphemers, fornicators are worshipped. Fleshly lust is worshipped. Jesus told you to look for the signs. Evil grows in the last days. We've been in the last days for over 2,000 years, but yes, we have to read the signs. The signs are all over. But do you see the signs? No, you don't, because you're just in for the selfies and in for the entertaining business. You're entertaining yourself you're entertaining yourself with darkness you're entertaining yourself with all kinds of evilness rather than seeking God who is the way the truth and the life people we need to stand you need to think about where you go when you die you need to think about that because we are in this world just for a f short period. But you are to think where you're going to go when you die. Because eternal life is forever. Hell is forever. And that's a choice where you're going. It's all up to you. You choose. And when you think there is no hell, when you think there is no heaven, oh yes there is. Yes, there is. 
A lot of preachers are wolves. A lot of ministries are wolves. There's a lot of ministries that are there just to deceive you. Jesus said, I will send you out sheep among wolves. Sheep will be among wolves. And oh, there's a lot of wolves out there. This is why you need to discern and see and understand what is truth. Truth is not what you hear from the government. Truth is not what you hear from your doctor. Truth is not what you hear from your teacher, teacher from the world. If you're a born again Christian, you're not of this world. You're in it, but not of it. We're from the kingdom of God. And that's the opposite to the devil's kingdom. Because everything is so lukewarm, when you speak the truth, you're trying to make people understand that Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, forever. He hasn't changed, but people have. So you need to understand that when I speak the truth, that's from God. If it's not in the Bible, it's the traditions of man, it's the lukewarm double mind and wavering people that has told you that because they would just want to tickle your ears but the truth is the only one who will set you free and people look at, look at you when you do not do yoga you do not do this and that what the world is doing they think you're crazy well good I'm crazy about Jesus and because he's the only way I don't care what the world thinks of me I don't care I'm not here for the worldly pe world I'm not here to please men. I'm here to tell you the truth. If you don't like it, you need to think why you don't like it. If you got a pinch in your heart, I feel like you're stabbed in the heart, you need to think why. Why do you feel that pinch in the heart? Or stab in the heart, which either way, but I'm sick and tired of sick and tired of being in this world with the lukewarm. It would be refreshing to find somebody who speaks the same as I do. It would be refreshing to find the brotherly love for those that speak this truth and not these lukewarm that that worship their sickness and disease they identify themselves with their sickness and disease and when you ask, tell them that Jesus is still the healer they don't accept it as the devil don't want you to know the truth he wants to keep you sick he wants to steal your health he wants you to bow down to him so you wouldn't know the truth because the healing is true I've seen it with my own eyes because I do the kingdom and the healer is in me I don't have to think how it's done I just go and do it that's not on my business to understand the things of God in that way how does he do it my thing is to do what he tells me to do to obey him not the world to obey him that's the only thing. I don't care about the lukewarm because no matter what you tell them, they don't believe because they want to keep on sinning. Well, they're in for a surprise when Jesus is coming back. It's too late. Praise the Lord for his goodness and mercy endures forever. Bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.